Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a fall makeup look slash full face of first impressions. I am so excited to be doing this video. It is my very first attempt at a full face of first impressions and I also decided to incorporate this and turn it into a fall makeup look because it just started getting cold here in Texas. Oh, woo! I'm like, woo, pull out the sweaters, pull out the hot cocoa, let's watch some fall movies, let's decorate and get holly jolly up in here. Anyways, so I'm trying products that aren't new, but they are new to me. They're products that I've never used before, that I've never tried out on my face. Um, and I have my thoughts and my opinions and I'm ready to share them with the YouTube world. So without any further ado, we're going to get right on to this video. Before you leave, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to stay up to date with whenever I upload. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know this intro is like a million years long, so I'm going to go ahead and shut up and stop rambling and we're going to get into the video. So okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started um first of all we're gonna address the elephant in the room we have a new member of the face family don't really want to talk about it it just kind of moved in and it's here to visit it's getting evicted very soon though so the first thing that i'm going in with is primer as always and today i am using the revlon photo ready perfecting primer it has been sitting on my desk for weeks and I've been meaning to use it. I just, my hand always gravitates towards my e.l.f. primer. I can't help it, but today I'm using it. So we'll just see how it goes. It feels like it would blur my pores. Um, I feel like I need more though. You know what? I'm going to be extra. I'm going to add more. So far, I'm really liking the way it feels on my skin. It feels really soft and smooth and a little bit tacky. Like I feel like my foundation is going to stick really nicely to it. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So for foundation today, I picked up the number seven Stay Perfect foundation. I got mine in the shade Warm Ivory. So firsthand, I can most certainly smell the SPF. It kind of smells like sunscreen. And this right here is kind of burning right underneath my eyes. Just like a little bit, not like bad, not like, ah! but it is kind of, I don't know. I think sunscreen does that though, so we'll see. So right off the bat, what I will say is I am not warm ivory, not in the slightest. As I blended it out on this side, I was like, oh, that's really nice. That's great. And then I started blending it out on this side and, and I started to turn orange. <laughs> and that's when I realized that's not my shade. So it gave me a chance and an opportunity to go and pick up my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which is another foundation that I've been needing to use. This one is in the shade Porcelain, and it is much more my shade. So I will probably repurchase this in my shade. Um, in the meantime, I will probably just mix it with a lighter foundation, much like I did today. So next for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Fair. Right off the bat, I can already feel like it's not as full coverage as my ColourPop that, uh, concealer or my Age Rewind concealer, but that's okay. If needs be, I will build it up. We grow, we progress. Um, it didn't irritate under my eyes though, so there's no strong scent. So we'll just, um, we'll see how it goes. We'll continue to blend this out. Okay. So, like I said, not the most full coverage concealer. Um, I can still kind of see. Wait, let me zoom you guys in just a little bit. Hold on. It definitely doesn't feel as heavy as the other concealers. So it's nice. nice. All right, so now I'm going to set my concealer and I'm going to use, hold your breath because I'm not using my e.l.f. HD powder. I am using the number seven translucent perfect light loose powder. I picked this up the same day that I picked up the foundation just because I wanted to see how they worked together and I need to step outside the box and give my elf powder a break. We're gonna see how this does, see how I like a different kind of powder. We'll see. I'm just gonna set my under eyes like I do with the elf powder. 
just like that. Does anybody remember the movie Benchwarmers and the little robot companion dude, the butler, his name was number seven? Every time that I go into Ulta and I see the brand number seven, I can't help but think of the scene with John Heater whenever he's like, hey number seven. Does anybody remember that movie or is it just me? All right, so we are now gonna dust away this bakage. See how our skin feels. All right, hang on a second. Why does that feel so smooth? Like, like a baby's bottom. I don't want to say it's the powder because I have such a deep love for my e.l.f. powder, but dang, that's smooth. Like, I don't feel any texture. What are you doing to me, number seven? Okay, all right, okay, so far so good. We'll see, I'm not ready to commit yet. I'm too devoted, I'm too devout. We'll see though, we'll see. I do really like the way that feels, like, wow. So I'm going to bronze up my skin now and I'm just gonna use my Pixie Powder Bronzer because I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing Hula up on my face. And also I need to get a new one. That is bronzed, well, as bronzed as my pale self can get, so. So for blush today, what I'm going to use is this NYX powder blush in the shade Angel. Um, it looks like this. I've tried the little, like, the HD blushes, but I've never tried the powder blushes before. I love NYX, I have like a whole drawer full of NYX, so. That blended out really pretty. I didn't really expect anything different because I love NYX, so I knew it was gonna be, I knew it was gonna be nice. I just had a feeling. So I guess sticking on the NYX train, they came out with a whole elements collection type of deal, like, you know, earth, wind, metal, fire, all of that. And because I'm a neutral kind of a gal, I decided to get the Earth palette right here. This one just has a bunch of really pretty greens and browns and plums and all just all kinds of really pretty colors that I gravitate towards. This color right here is so smooth. Like, oh my gooch. So we're going to play around with this today. We're gonna see what we can create with this bad boy right here. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is this light peachy color and I'm just going to put this all over my lids, working it really deep into the crease and I'm going to go from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner because I really want this look to be a really nice gradient effect. So then I'm going to pick up this peachy color and on a more tapered brush as always, I'm going to work this right over top of that first transition shade, working it again from the outer corner to the inner corner. This is going to be not the usual smoky eye that I do, it's going to be more of a rounded smoky eye, so I really want the colors to kind of be gradiented, gradiented? I want them to be a gradient effect. Then I'm going to take this olive toned green from the palette and I'm going to take a flat Flat shader brush this is from ColourPop and I'm going to work that super deep into the crease like super deep this is gonna add the dimension one thing that kind of bugged me about this palette was the they didn't have names there was no names on these colors and there was some pretty bad fallout with this one shade um, some of the shadows in here are amazing and then some of them are just ugh. Then I'm going to take this really pretty forest green shade and on a very densely packed shader brush I'm going to dust this all over my lid. This is one of the shades that I had a little bit of trouble blending out which made me so sad because there are some, like I said, some of these shades are so creamy and so buttery and so blendable and then there's some that are just like wah, wah, wah. and this one I had to go over several times with the shader brush but you know, you can build it up. It is buildable. Then I'm gonna go in with this really pretty shimmer green shade. And at first I took a flat synthetic brush, dry, and put that all over my lid. 
lid because when I swatched it, I was like, oh, that's really pretty. I don't need a spritz of setting powder. And then whenever I put it on my lid, there was just no pigment. There was no pigment and I packed a lot on that brush, like a lot. So I spritzed it with some setting powder and that made it a little bit better and the pigment showed up a little bit more, but it made it really flaky. It made the stuff that I already laid down kind of flaky and flake off and it just, it was really sad. It looked uneven. So I went in with this really pretty city color shimmer shadow. This is in the shade Beach Cottage. Tati mentioned this in one of her 10 under 10 videos. And I just put this, using my finger, I put this over top of that shimmer shade from the NYX palette and it just, boom, made it come to life. So then I picked up the NYX palette again, and I really wanted to try another shimmer shade, so I picked up that yellow. This time I used my finger, and I dotted that right over top of where I put that city color shadow. And that one actually worked pretty well. Like, I got a really nice pigment from that. Then I mixed the city color shadow and the shimmer green from the NYX palette on a flat definer brush and I just put that underneath my lower lash line and then with that peachy shade from the palette I took my blending brush and I just smoked out my lower lash line and kind of blended that all together for you know a reverse gradient effect. Then I went in with my NYX Coal Eyeliner Pencil and I tight lined my eyes as per usual tight lining my waterline and my upper lash line. And then today I used a NYC felt tip eyeliner pencil or pen. Um, I know it's not my NYX Epic Ink, but I think I got a pretty decent wing from this. You know, this is a first impression though, so I'll play around with it a little bit more. Then I did my brows, bada bing, bada boom, done magic. Let me know if you guys wanna see like a brow tutorial. I'm not good at brows. I just, I fill them in as best as I can, guys. Um, and then I went in with my lash curlers and curled my lashes because I'm using a new mascara. <gasps> I know, I'm not using my Lash Paradise. I'm actually using this BH Cosmetics mascara. Um, I got this because the wand looked pretty similar to my Lash Paradise mascara, so I gave it a go. Um, I gotta say, I actually liked the way that this turned out. I liked the way my lashes looked when I applied this. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so eyes are done, eyes and brows and things. Um, I had a little bit of trouble trying to get that shimmer green shade from the palette to work with me. I, it took a little bit of finesse, but um, in the end, I made it work, I made it work. So next what we're gonna do is highlight. I have two new highlights that I wanna try and they're both from ColourPop. Um, these are the pressed powder highlights. I have the shade here, Kitty Kitty, and the shade, s'il vous plaît. I might mix the two. We'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll go in with the lighter shade and see how I'm feeling after that. If I'm feeling saucy, then I may add the extra one, so we'll see. So I'm going in with my Morphe M510 brush, and this is the s'il vous plaît color. Oh, oh hello. Well, that is nice. So now for lips, I am going to try out these e.l.f. Um, liquid matte lipsticks. I have two of these shades here. I have Praline and I have Blushing Rose. Um, I think for the look today, I'm going, I'm gonna go in with Praline. So kind of cold front that has come through Texas and my lips are just experiencing all of the bad from all of that. Whenever there's cold weather, my lips dry out and it's just awful. So the fact that I'm about to put a matte lipstick on when my lips are this dry, maybe I'm dumb. Eh, oh well. So we're just gonna apply the lipsticks. Okay, so I have let the liquid lipstick dry down completely matte, so see, transfer proof. First thoughts, it is very, very drying, and I have dry lips, so therefore, I think probably if my lips weren't ridiculously dry, I would love this. Um, I can see how it's kind of already 
starting to flake away on the inside here. I don't know if that's because of the formula or if it's because my lips are just ridiculously dry, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of my NYX Butter Gloss on top of it just because my lips are so dry right now I can't take this matte. I, I can't. I can't. I would love it if my lips were not dry, but my lips are dry right now, so. Okay, that makes it... That makes it more comfortable right now, especially for my dryness. I went in with the shade Praline. This is the shade Praline in the NYX Butter Gloss. So I used Praline um, from the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick and Praline from the NYX Butter Gloss. I was wondering why these colors matched so well. I see what you did there, NYX. I see what you did there, e.l.f. I see. I see you. So to finish off this look, I'm going to use my Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. I've never used it to set my face, so hold on. We'll Give me a second. It smells like roses. Ooh, that's pretty. Mm. All right, so that completes this look. Overall, I really like the way that this look turned out. Um, I'll have to see how it wears throughout the night and everything. Um, I really like the fall aspect of it. And I used green! I didn't do purple or pink today, guys! I mean, okay, yeah, I used pink, like, in the crease. Okay, so me. I'm having one of those, like, pink purpley moments. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you like these style of like first impressions slash mini reviews and all that, leave me a comment down below to let me know that you want me to do more stuff like this. If there's other things out there that I haven't tried yet, but you would like to see me try, leave them in the comments below. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.